Russia's new Sukhoi T-50 fighter aircraft is the future of the nation's air force, a symbol of resurgent power and technological capability. The first known Russian aircraft designed from the ground up for stealth, the T-50 has some unique features. The aircraft is directionally unstable, with all moving vertical tails. The leading edges of the main blended wing body structure are large and powerful moving control surfaces. The two widely spaced jet engines have thrust vectoring nozzles for control at low speeds. In accordance with stealth design principles, the leading edges of the wings and tails are, are aligned with one another to reflect radar energy away from any radar that may be looking at the T-50. One innovation, seen under the test in an anechoic chamber, is a radar system built into the wing leading edges. The T-50 has two main weapon bays mounted in tandem between the engine housings. The Russians say they make the aircraft more slender than its US rival, the Lockheed Martin F-22. Stills from a Russian documentary show that most of the internal structure is made from aluminum and titanium with carbon fiber composite skins. The prototypes at least have largely hand-built skins. The structure uses large one-piece skins that minimize the number of gaps, a desirable feature from the stealth viewpoint. Four T-50s have accomplished several hundred hours of testing, including air refueling trials. The T-50's predecessor, the Su-35, has already demonstrated outstanding maneuverability. Videos of the T-50 seen this summer show some unique maneuvers, including what seem to be flat rotational turns under full control, with little or no loss of altitude. Critics call them air show stunts, but the Russians believe that future air combats will end up in close-range knife fights, where the ability to get your jet's nose and weapons on target will be decisive. When will the T-50 be fully ready for service? What weapons will it carry? How good are its sensors? And how well do its onboard computers tie them together? Those are essential attributes of a combat aircraft, no matter how well it flies. And we may know more answers to those questions after the upcoming Moscow Air Show.